Hey, howdy, hey, what a wonderful day it's been. Hello, everybody. DTX, I'm going here. And we're back with more Pokemon Sword Shield. And we're going to do it. And we're going to run around and circles around the freaking ball guy. Yeah. All right, let's just get let's just get right into it. Let's not snarl. Let's not waste any time. We're going to have a cutscene. There we go. I knew it. That battle was brilliant. That gym leader. That gym leader was tough, but that gym... Oh, uh, fuck. I can't remember what voice I had for... Crestor has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk about, so... Let's head to the restaurant to celebrate. It's Bob's. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna... Uncle Bob's. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sick. No. Okay. Well, let us move on. Get out of the way. Gotta go to Bob's. Whoa, I did not mean to fly into this person's house. Holy crap. This is Bob's restaurant. But where is Bob? He's got the gym bags to check next one. Oh, uh, hey, there you <laughs> Oh, hey, there you are. <laughs> I've been trying to find out about more about the darkest days. Yeah, I know. I know. You're trying to figure it out. Oh, look, they have a thing, too. Wait, hold on. No way. What's this? The heroes look sad. And where are the sword and shield? Was there something in this picture? Into the legend. Hmm, perhaps when their dust does completely kind of sleep. Oh, I think it looks like, um, so one was the sword and one was a shield. I think I'm figuring it out. She's taking a little, she's taking a second. But it kind of looks like those two. They have a gravestone behind him. I think these two guys died and then were resurrected as the uh, the legendary dogs. You met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, GTX? Yeah, that those that one time where that one fucking that one thing was messing with us in the fog. You know, in episode one. Pokemon Sword and Shield Let's Play. You know, the one that doesn't have any frickin' sound. How about we discuss this over a meal? Come on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our older orders in. Hell yeah. I just, I just needed this dinner date with you. But Hop is being a total third wheel right now. All right, the next thing we gotta do is when done eating is look around Krister. Let's inspect the hero's bath. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go back in there real quick. No, I'm not. I lied. Okay. Hop has way too much energy. He needs to mellow out. <laughs> he needs to chill. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down the evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that battled here? I think I'll have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering wild. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. Aw, oh, thanks. Wait, like, some hero waving around a sword and shield? Put the one in. Though, I guess I'd fancy a shield if I had my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Pokemon battle? Why don't we show it? Of course. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
Oh, thank you, Sonya. Hop, I'm getting sick of you, man. <laughs> Dabool. I think he might have a beware because he did just say beware in the middle of the sentence. Counting on you, partner. Hmm. Let's you turn out of here. Get some good damage in while we escape. Get a free switch in. Let's go into our newly evolved Hatterene. Look how beautiful and majestic Hatterene is. My team is finally complete. I have the entire team that I won by the end of the game. Just lovely. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, jeez, man. I, I think I'm coming down with a cold. Growl. Well, I don't know what that's gonna do to help you, man. My attack failed. My special attack did not. Get out of here. Hatterene is so amazing looking. It's like I seen this Pokemon and immediately got drawn to it. You know, the, the color is really pretty and it's like a witch with a hat and it has like a hand on the back and it's really pretty. A bunch of people keep making memes about, uh, a lot of people keep making memes over the fact that uh, she's kind of attractive looking, this Pokemon. And you know how the internet is. If it exists, there are, let's just say, adult photos of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, don't die, don't die from the hell. Oh gosh. Okay, I can kill it. I can kill it with a psychic. But the hail's gonna kill me. Oh no, I did not kill it with a psychic. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I'm dead now. Yes! Yes, girl, yes. But the hail, no! No! <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Let's go on to Toxtricity. I know Toxtricity could put the sucker down. Venus Shock. Oh, you son of a gun. Ow. Your Snorlax hurts, Hop. Your Snorlax is fat. Like I was saying about Hatterene, you know, people like to make a bunch of fan art of Pokemon and of characters of any kind in any kind of media. People love fa making fan art, and they like making very seductive and or sexy fan art. So, yeah, there's a lot of that on the internet. Look up uh, Hatterene cleavage, and you'll be uh, you'll be entertained. That's like a new trend, I guess. It's making sexy pictures of Hatterene, a Pokemon. Yes. I did not see what he was bringing in. And Teleon. You know what? I don't have to worry. I think I might destroy your Inteleon. Tearful look. Don't feel tox, Trizzy. Don't feel bad for him. Get that out of here. Get that lizard out of here. That ugly lizard. Yeah, get out of here. Goodbye. James Pond. <laughs> get James Pond out of here. James Pond, literally, man. Um, Overdrive, oh yes. Overdrive is the move that he needs. move that leaves the target badly poisoned.
Oops, I was looking at the wrong one. Oh my god. The user attacks opposing Pokemon by flinging a guitar or bass guitar, causing a huge echo and sound vibration. So we're gonna give him. We're gonna get rid of Discharge and teach him Overcharge. Overdrive, sorry. We're gonna get rid of Discharge. Discharge, gosh. And teach him Overdrive because he has the ability Punk Rock. And the ability Punk Rock makes sound based moves, you know, do a lot more. Pink Urchin! So you are an electric type, are you? Let's see if I could still, like, destroy you. Oh, you have Lightning Rod. Of course you do. You lucky son of a gun. You know what's weird? I believe Pinkerton is just a is just an electric type. I don't think it's a water type. But it, it seems like it should be a water type. No, that's not a good idea. It's not a good idea either. That might not be a good idea either. Man. Let's swap into Rillaboom. I do not really have any answer to the electric typing. That's for sure. That's the only kind of coverage I don't really have with my team. My, my rest of my team can pretty much take everybody else, except for maybe ghost types might be a problem. Actually, maybe not even that, because I do have... Hatterene has psychic moves. I mean, has uh, fairy type moves, but even then, you don't want to send her out against them. So, Let's just use drum beating and hopefully kill it. Boom! 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 Beat you like a spiky drum that you are. It looks like it got a uh, looks like it got some butt as a face. That it does. What are you sending in now? Corviknight, eh? I have one of those. Um, Corviknight. You know, we're gonna stay in. This is a bad move, but we're gonna stay in. Gonna stay in against Corviknight. And then I'm going to use this turn to use a X Revive Hatterene. You may ask it yourself, why the hell are you reviving Hatterene and not reviving Toxtricity? Well, the answer to that question is I can still do that because he was stupid and used Scary Face on me. But my intent was to get Hannah Renning some of the experience from this battle because she is under leveled compared to everybody else. Okay, now we are going to Moo Moo Milk to Electricity and we're going to bring him into battle once I use U-turn on this sucker. Corbinite, uh, I ain't going to lie, you are pretty intimidating. I'm not going to lie. I have one of those, and it is badass. Corviknight, even when it, when it was revealed, man, Corviknight was badass Pokemon, and I'm dead. No, I lived. Good job. Good job, Rillaboom. Get out of there. Rillaboom's gonna do a tiny bit of damage and get out of there. He landed a crit, even though that crit did god-awful nothing. Switch out. Now we're gonna go into Toxtricity, now that he is almost at 100%. And we're gonna overdrive the hell out of him. Overdrive is gonna destroy him. Boom! And it was a crit too. Hell yeah. Overdrive does heck of damage though because one, it's 80 base an 80 base attack move it has the ability punk rock on toxtricity and it's a sound based move for one 
and it's 80 base. It just gets an increase with the punk rock ability. And it's stab. So that does a hell of a lot of damage. Wood hammer. That is a pretty good freaking move. That is a good move. We can get rid we can get rid of We'll get rid of Razor Leaf. Why not? <clears throat> we'll make Rillaboom kinda like a glass cannon. Well, you know, if we want to hit somebody really hard with wood hammer, we we will if we have to, it'll be like a last resort. But it'll like literally send us like half HP or, or maybe a little less than that, but it'll hurt. Thanks, you guys gave me a rate popper battle. <clears throat> At the rate both of you are going, even unbeatable Leon is gonna be having trouble. So What's next? You two, I plan to look into the Slumbering Weald. You guys want to go all the way to the Slumbering Weald? Then once I get the gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on Spike Myth next. Okay. Seems like he's finally on his rival. <clears throat> See you later. I like you! Okay. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're gonna continue on down Route 9. Hop gave us a little bit of trouble there. But, um, first we better heal up. Get out of the way, sir. First we better head this away. Heal ourselves up here. Look at our team. Look how amazing they look. Our team is finally in motion. We have done it, guys. We've made it. We have the team that we wanted. There's just one other Pokemon that I might use as an alternate, but it might be kind of hard because I've already gotten really attached to, to all these guys. I've really gotten attached to all the Pokemon I have so far, so I don't really want to get rid of any of them, but... I really, I guess I'll just tell you guys now, I really want to use Dracoloak slash what it evolves into is Dracopult and then its first evolution is Dreepy, of course. But that is going to be a hard task. Let's fish. What's in here? What can I fish for? What can I fish for? Octillery? You disgusting Octillery. You disgust me. Not really. Octopuses are cool. Octopi, I guess. Octopi are cool. Not octopuses. <laughs> hey, well, there's this lady here. What is... I didn't think she was going to see me. What is the incentive of fighting you, lady? Fisher Harriet. Because your Harriet sends out Barrow Scooter. No, no, no. Don't don't use the announcer voice on Harriet. She's not a gym a gym leader. Only the gym leaders and big battles get big time battles get that voice. You know what? You're gonna get a drum beaten, Barrow Scooter. Really, you're gonna hide underwater? Not cool, bro. I just bought a drum. You made me lose one of my drum beat PPs. Hmm. Just die. I avoided it. It was all for nothing. And now you will be beaten. Beaten by my branches. By the branches. Yes. You'll be beaten by the branches. By the branches of unfortunate circumstance. I don't know what the hell I'm even talking about anymore. Lantern! Gonna wanna get out of there now. Who can take Lantern? Hmm. Dreadnought can take Lantern.
Dark type is super effective against Ghost, isn't it? I believe it is. I don't know why that thought randomly popped in my head, but yeah. I still probably could have stayed in with, uh, with Rillaboom, but I like Rillaboom kind of being the, the backhand man. He's kind of not the, he's the one I, it's funny enough, but Rillaboom, I, he's, he's my starter Pokemon. He's the first Pokemon I had in this entire game, but he's the one that I kind of use less, the one I kind of neglect. At least I feel that way. He, uh, he's not that great, man. Well, he is. He is really good, actually. But none of the starters really stick out to me super much in this game. When they were all in their small form, they were really hard to choose between. I, I went between, like, all of them. When these games first got revealed, I was on Team Sobble 100%. And then, um... When I got the game, I actually switched. I something about Grookey, man, during that cutscene in this game. Something about the cutscene with Grookey. Grookey has so much like charisma and such. I felt like I just wanted to go with that more than you know go with Sobble. Oh God, can you get me? You gonna be able to get me? No, you can't. <laughs> you can't touch me. When do I upgrade my bike? I know that there's like a bike upgrade where you can you can surf on a bike. Oh god, toilet birds. Stay away from me, toilet bird. So in in an episode I don't remember what episode it was, but an episode not that long ago, I, I said that there wasn't very many Pokemon that I hated. Uh, one of the Pokemon that I really dislike is Wingle and Pelipper. The reason that being is because oh my god, they make me so upset. Um, <laughs> um, the first Pokemon games I ever played were were the Hoenn games. Um, I think Hoenn, yes, Hoenn. Third generation is Hoenn, correct? Hope I don't get that wrong because I'm gonna look like an idiot. But Hoenn was my pretty much well, that's my favorite generation. Um, is 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 the Hoenn region? Because of all those Pokemon, those that's like the generation that was like made for me as a kid. I was growing up at that exact time, and that's the generation I kind of love. And it was the first Pokemon games I ever played. And you know, what it uh, what's the old IGN thing like? Too much water. <laughs> like one out of zero out of zero out of one. Too much water, something like that. And oh, how wrong were they? Um, but gosh, playing through Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald and playing through Omega Ruby Alpha and Sapphire, the Wingles and Pelipper's like so annoying after you see them for like the millionth time. Like surfing and you see, oh god, it's another Pelipper. Oh god, it's another Pelipper. Oh god, it's another Wingle. It's another toilet bird! Yeah, so. <laughs> That's how I feel about Pelipper's and Wingles. I hate them. I hate them so much. Like, please, do not touch me, toilet bird. No, Blossom. We can stand on Blossom. Blossom! I used to be pretty decent at, uh... Pokemon impressions. I can do a lot of good Pokemon voices, um, especially older gens. Maybe when I get to like Hoenn, I can't really do very many of them anymore. And my voice has gotten a lot deeper in the past couple of years, so I can do the main three very easy though. The Kanto starters are easy, like Cha Charmander, Cha Cha, and then you know Squirtle, 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 Squirtle. Squirtle. And it's very easy to do Bulbasaur as well, because Bulbasaur is real kind of same. Bulbasaur! 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 Yes. Did I blow anybody's mind? That was a good way to stall our way through that fight, wasn't it? Get away from me, Toilet Bird. Toilet 
toilet bird. Now we're on Route 9. Thought we were already on Route 9. Well, you know, I'm just gonna back away. No, I'm not. Alright, let's just get into it. There's no way. There's no way that we're letting you anywhere near Spike Myth. That means we can't let you go to Route 9. It's Team Year's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnought. <laughs> the boy. I understand. Rotom bikes can ride on water. What? Remember me? I gave you that bike. Oh, hey man, thanks for the bike. So I do need to protect the Dreadnought. And that means we're gonna need to give up on the gym challenge. You're looking like you need to close the battle. Uh, I guess. I'm all about protecting Dreadnought too, guys. They don't need to, like, fight me for it. Like, I like Dreadnought. I, I have a Dreadnought. Like, I can show it to you. You have a Lanoon. You don't even have an Obstagoon yet, bro. You don't even have an Obstagoon, dude. Your Lanoon. Get this ugly kiss badger out of here. Put your tongue away, Gene Simmons. Well, it's not quite a Jim, Gene Simmons yet. It's more of a. It's more. It's like a. It's like a small badger, Paul Stanley. <laughs> it doesn't become Gene Simmons until it's an obstacle. I. The Pokemon Company 100% made these things about Kiss, right? Like with the tongue sticking out and the you know black and white stars on the eyes. Like they 100% did that. They had to have. That was 100% intentional. There's no way it wasn't. Alright, Pangoro. This is... See, we're gonna use Wood Hammer on Pangoro just for the hell of it. Just a BOOM! Let's see how much recoil... That was a test run. Let's see how much recoil damage it did. Ooh, I was right. It did about half-ish. Damn, Rillaboom, you are flying up there, man. I head to Spike Myth, I guess. Going through Spike Myth. It's gonna ride the Dreadnought. Get a move on, Dreadnought! <laughs> Debite. Debite. Badite. Bad Badite? Debite? Badite? Well, I'm glad I only had to fight one of them. That was a cycling tree. Oh, you're gonna give me. Oh, okay. That's funny how I was just talking about that. And then, there we go. Road Tom Bike. Yes. Now I can move through. Yes. Whoa. How nice. Now we can surf and stuff. How cool. Gonna have to go over there because there's an item, I think. Did I see an item? Or am I just lying to myself? I thought I saw an item there. We're gonna get going, man. We're gonna... I'm gonna come back over here, though. Real quick. And go in here. But we're gonna avoid the toilet birds. Oh, God. See what I mean? Look. You're even just surfing freaking here. Look, there's toilet birds. Toilet birds are everywhere. Like, come on, man. Get out. Whoa. Mantine. Or Mantike? Mantikes. Those are Mantikes. Stay with me, Mantike. It's a secret path. Oh! Oh! Avalanche. There's a Galalee here. What's up, man? Gonna fight me? Whoa, you're quick! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna be that fast. Oh my god. A very strong looking Galalee. How strong are you? How strong are you? Yeah, you're pretty freaking strong, man. We're gonna avoid you. <laughs> I'm gonna run away. Goodbye. Hello? Are you gonna come back? No? Alright, well. Don't really care anyway, man. I'm out. Quillfish. 
Get away from me, Quillfish. Quillfish, stay away. All right, now we can move forward. We can press on. We can get out of here. Moving on. Onward. Ooh, look, a Clavipus. Let's go catch that. Fight me, Clavipus. We're going to catch this Clavipus because it is a... Oh, grapple locked. Oh, sorry. You're not... Clavipus is a small one. You're grapple locked. I apologize. Grapple locked. Oh, you're a level 50. Oh, my goodness. How did I become so under-leveled so quickly? Um... Woodhammer? <laughs> well, we killed it. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Rillaboom, for fucking hitting a crit when I didn't want you to. Thanks, man. Didn't We didn't want to kill the freaking squid. Okay, well, everybody, you need to catch up, because it looks like everybody around here is level 50 now, unless he was just really strong. Couple whales I see here. Couple whales. Um, item. Pearl. Whoa, another item. Big pearl. Okay, let's look around here first before I go a wandering. Where am I supposed to go? Another pearl? Yep. Okay, more pearls. Pearl string. I assume we're just finding... Oh, an ice stone. Nice. Get away. There's a lot of whales here. How did... You seen me all the way the hell over here, lady? Come on. Get out of here. Maria. Marina. My Maria. Marina. Rillaboom. Everybody around here is water types, it looks like. So, Rillaboom, you're getting your moment once again. Beat the drum. Beat it. Just beat it. Dun -ba -dun -bum. Beat it. Dun -ba -dum. I am too much. Too much, I tell you. Pukumuku. Pukumuku. Hello. Hello, let's go, Pukumuku. Gonna get our drum beaten, also, man. Die. Get out of here. Yep, you do have innards out. Uh, okay, I figured you did. God damn it. Innards out. Thanks. Thanks. Well, Rillaboom is dead now. <laughs> Rillaboom has died. <laughs> She's all sad reeling in. Did you see that face? That was hilarious. My oh, goodness. Um. I don't know where I should be going here. There's a lot going on. Are you gonna be a not so over leveled grapple lock? Because I do want to catch one of you. What level are you? You are level 50 still. Okay. She's stealing on him. Topsy turvy. But it failed. I don't want to kill it by using drill pick, because drill pick might kill it. So I'm just gonna keep beating it with steel wing. Locked a locked. What did that do? I can no longer escape, eh? Trying to do some judo on me. Grapple locked. You look like a judo kind of guy. Using your tentacle there as a belt. Just go on the ball. No. Dude, I don't want to fight you, man. 
Reversal? How dare you? How? You filthy animal. You filthy animal. <laughs> you filthy creature. I'm gonna throw another ball at you. Stop fighting me. Get in the ball. Get. In. The ball. You mother. Topsy Turvy. What does that do? Stats were changed. No. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure Grapple Lock is not a water type. If I'm sure on that. I'm pretty sure. Well, friggin' the hail's gonna kill him, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not. God damn it. I wanted to catch it. Ugh. We'll come back for it. Let's continue to explore this route. Okay, there's an item over here. Protector. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna get it in our bag here. Where are the repels? There we are. I'm gonna use a super repel. I don't know how much it's gonna do, but... So do repels work on Pokemon in the overworld? I feel like it should. Wait, so how do I get over there? What? Dude, I just used the repel. The hell, man? Get out of here. Get out of here. Also, it looks like just the grapple locks are really high leveled. Because this guy right here is only level 40. Well, we're on the land right here. Oh, look, here's a clavipus. We can catch one of those and then evolve it into a grapple locked. That'll be way easier to do. Way easier. We're gonna throw a quick ball at it. I have quick balls. There we go. Can you just go on the ball, please? Just go on the ball. Just go on the ball. Just stay. Please. Please just stay. Thank you. Jeez. Didn't want to keep having to deal with you. Mongrel. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay in there. Son of a gun. Okay. Let's add him to the box. <laughs> Not gonna add him to our party. Are you crazy? I'm gonna go right to the box is what you're gonna do. I feel like there should be an item over here, though. How did I know? Okay. No. What's up, guy? What the hell was that? Another grapple lock. Wanna fight me, man? I better fight you, I guess. Dude, your nose, man. Oh my goodness, that is a honker. I have never seen a honker of such magnitude. <laughs> your, your, uh, your cloister looks like it has a big old honking horn on it too. Man. <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus, man. I'm like catching a cold talking for so long killing me usually I'm very quiet in modern day-to-day -day activity whoa Corp Knight's gonna die man everybody's dying now these people are freaking getting stronger and the hail is not helping overdrive will destroy you unless you protect yourself of course of course. 
You son of a gun. You son of a gun. Overdrive. Dead. 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 Dead, dead. Now get your honker out of here. Go see a... Go see a proctologist. I'm pretty sure a proctologist is a foot doctor. But, uh, not a nose doctor. It's a foot doctor. But I don't care. Grapple off day. I don't know where I should be going. Really, whale? Really? Whalemer? Really? You gotta be all big and fat and in my way, dude. Come on. You're a pain, Whalemer. Get out of here. Lady, no. I don't want to deal with you. I really don't want to deal with you. We're gonna shake this tree. I'm not gonna fight whatever's on this tree. I'm just gonna shake it like a couple times. We can probably get one more shake out of it. Still do one more. One more? Okay, now we're done. We're done. Not shaking it any longer. Whoa. Did you see that man sign just jump out of the freaking sky like that? <laughs> Let's fight this lady. Hello, lady. You're pretty cute. Can't believe you guys are running these outfits out here. It's freaking snowing, man. It's hailing. It's cold. There's ice. You're just wearing a bikini. What the hell are you doing? Put some clothes on. <laughs> Put some clothes on, you filthy heathen. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take all these dudes out and we're gonna camp. We're gonna camp our way through it. <clears throat> gonna heal everybody up by camping. Artillery. I'll keep in. Artillery. Dead. You're dead, bro. Get out of here, octopus. Calamari. I believe calamari is is just squid. I don't think calamari is cal if, if is cal if is it still calamari if it's octopus and not squid? <clears throat> That's a real question. I believe so. Hello, mantine. You're the man sign that like literally just jumped through her and, and she caught you right then and there. That's amazing. Literally. Like. <laughs> that's. That's insane! That's mental! Dude, you're dead, man. Get out of here. I'm tired of these battles, man. I'm tired of it. So much things going on on this route. Too many battles and too many wild fish just attacking me. Yeah, be frustrated. Be angry. Let's camp. We're going to cook. And what are we gonna cook? We're gonna cook a, uh, we're gonna use bread. And we're gonna use Um, I'm gonna use like we're gonna use all four of these. Sure, why not? And then uh, use all three of these. And then we'll we'll use three of these. Okay. I think that that seem hopefully that does something good. Hopefully you guys like it. 
I'm gonna put some bread in it. All right, I'm gonna fan the flames right here. We're gonna fan the freaking flames. We need some heat going because it's too cold around all these days, eh? It's too cold. Gotta, gotta keep pressing this A button. Yes. We're gonna make some curry and heal our entire team and do all that. Now we're spinning the thingy. And we're, we're making, we're stewing it. We're, 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 we're stirring it up and we're stirring it up and stirring it up. And it looks like there's some, there's some, something in there. There's some like onion and some, some beet maybe, or is that a sausage? I don't know. Can't tell. And then we're gonna throw this now. Perfect throw, yes. And there we go. Done. Hopefully everybody enjoys and everybody comes back to life. Sweet toast curry. <laughs> Hope you like it, Toxel. I mean, Toxtricity. <laughs> Copperage class. Everything I've been making was copper has been Copperage class. Okay, we're done camping. Let's move on. Okay, moving on. Back to the biking. Let's go over here. How do I get over there? That's my question. I guess I'm gonna have to go around. No, really, I really ran into that Mantine. Come on. See, at this point, this is... The repels aren't working, but I, like, I need to use a repel here, like. Repels aren't doing very much help. Let's see. Let's go over here. Hey, man, what's up? I'm gonna talk to you so that I can get a bit of a... So if you talk, if you talk to the people who have tents on the different routes, they, it sets like a waypoint. I might have said that already in a different episode, but yeah, it sets up a little waypoint. Oh, look at him. He got a bunch of dogs. Oh, and he has one of those. And a Lucario. Okay, we're done playing with them. We're done. We're just walking in there to try to get a waypoint set here. Rare candies. How lovely. Okay, everybody. This episode has been going on for, for quite a bit now, so I think I'm going to end it right here. I know it's a very anticlimactic episode. Not much has happened. Just been a lot of stalling in this episode. But we'll be right back with the next one. I'm going to have to split this one into a two-parter. We're going to have to leave it off here. And what do I mean a two-parter? What, what am I even talking about? This whole thing works on episodes, not parts. Well, I guess it works on parts, but you know what I mean. We're going to have to pick this up in the next episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button and, you know, like and hit that bell and stay notified and, you know, support me as I go through this, this journey on my terrible, terrible YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Love you 3000. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye.